East Carolina used to be the biggest game on the schedule for UNCW. After all, the Pirates used to be in the CAA, and the Pirates were a natural rival. Somehow, the Pirates were able to beat the UNCW Seahawks last year in a non-conference affair up in Greenville. Well, tonight was rematch time as the 10-1 Seahawks host the 7-4 Pirates at a sold-out Trask Coliseum, and it was rocking. Devontae Kaikok, seen right here where the dunk. Kate Cox scored only four points tonight, only played eight minutes due to early foul trouble, so not much of a factor. Jaquel Richmond, a bit of a factor, eight points this evening for Jaquel Richmond. It's been a while since we've talked about him. Let's give the Pirates a little bit of love. ECU's B.J. Tyson was 7 of 12 from the floor this evening at Trask Coliseum. 17 points for Tyson. He led the Pirates in scoring. UNC Wilmington led by 10 at the break. In half number two, keep an eye on Chris Flemings. It is Chris with a follow slam, and that was awfully, awfully nice, and that gets the crowd even more revved up. C.J. Bryce, 25 points tonight. He takes it right down the lane. Looks easy for C.J. Bryce who actually led UNC Wilmington in scoring tonight. Denzel Ingram led UNC Wilmington with 26 points. Ingram shot 11 three-pointers. He made six of them, 26 points for Ingram. 81-71 is the final score with the win. UNCW now 11-1 on the season. It is the best start in the history of the school for men's basketball. Yeah, I think we had a, a really good first half. Um, I think we came out and defended well. Uh, I think we were up 10. Um, coming out in the second half, I don't think we did as good. I mean, I was just playing. Uh, the ball was going for me today. Uh, it felt good. I was really just trying to come out, uh, get my teammates going, play hard defensively, and get stops early on and lead the early offense. I wanted to control tempo. Uh, when you look at East Carolina, uh, their height is unbelievable, and obviously uh, their defensive numbers are great. And when you look at it, uh, I thought we, we made those guys play our tempo. Uh, you know, they're a team that average about, you know, uh, defensively giving up about 60 to 64 points a game, and we were able to score 81 points. I thought in the first half we did a tremendous job defending those guys. In the second half, uh, we put them on the free throw line too much. Just a little bit too much. Regardless, the Seahawks next game will be next week on the road against Clemson. Former Seahawk head basketball coach Brad Brownell is the Tigers head coach, of course should be interesting. Meanwhile, on the scoreboard, we have a nine-point road victory for the women's basketball team at Cape Fear Community College. The Sea Devils beat Catawba Valley. That game was played up in Hickory. In high school basketball, East Columbus beat East Bladen by 17 points. Future UNCW Seahawk Charity Powell led the Gators with 20. The Topsville Boys basketball squad is your champion in the Brunswick Sheriff's Classic. The Pirates beat East Columbus by 25. The Whiteville Girls one, the Whiteville Boys won. And in case you did not know, the 23rd annual Leon Broughton Holiday Tournament will tip off tomorrow afternoon. The boys' games will be held at New Hanover High School this year. The girls' games will be played at Ashley. It is a three-day event, and with that being the case, Championship Day will be on Friday. Amanda, I can't wait. Lots of high school hoops on WWAY the next few days. All right, we will keep our eyes peeled for that. Thank you, John.